வெல்கம் டு சர்விகா கவிதா செல்வன் ஸ்லாக் If you like my video subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon Fire This was written by Charlotte Bronte About the lesson Fire This chapter is an excerpt from the novel Jane Eyre In this chapter Fire she narrates the events happened in a particular night which made her to think that there is something mysterious going on let us go into the story the characters in this chapter are the first character is jane eyre she is the protagonist of this story who works as governess in thornfield hall Second is Mr Edward Rochester. He is the master of the Stonefield Hall. Mr Fairfax, he is the housekeeper. Pilot, the pet dog. And Grace Pool, the woman who sews in the house. Here I refers to Jane Eyre. She says that she had extinguished the candle and was lying down on her bed, but she was unable to sleep because she was thinking about the conversation with Mr. Rochester when he stopped in the avenue. He told that his destiny is not leaving him to stay happily at Thornfield. Why not? Jane asked herself. What alienates him from this house? Will he leave it again soon? These are the questions asked by Jane to herself. Then she remembered that Mr. Fairfax said Mr. Rochester only sometimes used to stay longer than a fortnight, but now he has decided to stay for eight weeks. Jane says to herself that if he does go, it would be doleful, and the sunshine and fine days will seem joyless. So the meanings of new words are given below. Even new means the path or the way. Destiny means fate or luck. Alienates means separates or isolates. Fortnight means a time period of two weeks. Doleful means sad. When she was thinking very deeply about this, she heard a vague, murmur, peculiar and lugubrious. sound and she thought it's coming from the room which is just above her she wished that she can keep her candle burning because of that peculiar sound and the night was scary she rose and sat up in her bed listening now the sound was hushed that is it became silent she tried to sleep again but her heart beat anxiously and her calmness or peace was broken The clock which is in the hall struck 2 that is 2 a.m. Just then she heard someone touch the door of her chamber as if fingers had swept in groping a way along the dark gallery. So the meanings of the new words are given. Music means thinking very deeply. Vague means strange. Lugubrious means sounding sad. Tranquility means calmness or peace. Groping means searching blindly using fingers. Gallery means a hall with photo frames. This is the picture of gallery. She inquired who is there, but there was no reply. She was very frightened. To console herself, she thought it would be Pilot the dog, who when the kitchen door is kept open used to find its way towards the threshold of Mr Rochester's chamber she too has seen the dog lying over there in the mornings this idea made her feel calm now the silence reigned again whole house she began to feel the return of slumber that is sleep at that time she had a dream which was fled affrighted and was scared by a marrow freezing incident so the meanings of the new words are given chilled with fear it's a phrase that means frightened threshold means a small piece of wood forming the bottom of a doorway 
This is the picture of threshold. Composes the nerves means one can feel peacefully, feeling calm. Slumber means sleep. Fret affrighted means very terrific. Marrow freezing means extremely frightening. That was a demonic laugh, which was low, suppressed and deep uttered, which was coming from the keyhole of a chamber door. The head of a bed is placed near the door and thought it would be the goblin laughter which crouched the pillow. She rose and looked around and could see nothing. As she still gazed at this look, she heard an unnatural sound which was repeated. She knew it came from behind the panels of her door. Her first impulse Impulse means desire is to rise and check the bolt whether it is locked properly. And next impulse is to cry out who is there. So the meanings of newers are given below. Demoniac laugh means evil laugh. Crouched means a position to defend oneself. So this is the position of crouched. Reiterated means repeated and impulse means desire. She heard something gurgled and moan, that is, some bubbling and low sound. Soon she heard some footsteps leading to the third story of the mansion. At that time, she thought of the door which was sealed and shut recently in that story. But now she can hear the door was opened and closed. She thought it would be graceful and asked herself, is she possessed with devil mind? Then she thought, no need to wait and she hurried up in her frock and shawl to clarify it with Mr. Fairfax. She opened the door with shaking hand and she noticed a burning candle placed in the matting or carpet in the gallery. She was amazed because she can perceive the air was dim as it was filled with smoke. She turned right and left to see from whence, whence means from there, it's the old use of English. From whence the blue wreaths are coming. She further can feel a strong smell of burning. So the new words meanings are given. Gurgled means bubbling sound. Moan means low sound. Air long means soon or before long. It's an old use. Trembling means shaking. Circumstance means situation. Blue wreaths means curls or rings of smoke blue in color. So this is a picture of blue wreaths. Something creaked. It was a door ajar. Ajar means left open. That door was Mr. Rochester's. The smoke rushed in a cloud from thence. Thence is also old use of English and that means that place. At this situation, she had no thoughts of Fairfax, Grace Pool or a laugh. Very quickly she entered the chamber. Tongues of flame moving quickly around the bed. Darted means moving quickly. The curtains were on fire. In the midst of this fire and vapor produced from it, Mr. Rochester laid, stretched without moving. Motionless means without moving in deep sleep. Wake, wake, Jane cried. She shook him, but he didn't wake up. Without wasting a second, she took the basin and ewer which was in his bedroom. She filled it with water and deluged the bed and the occupant. The occupant is Mr. Rochester with water. Again, she rushed to her own bedroom and took a water jug. That is a picture. Finally, in God's aid, aid means in God's uh, grace, she succeeded in extinguishing the fire. So the new words meanings are given. Creak means sound aroused when moving something. Ajar means left open. Insert means quickly. Stupefied means shocked. Kindling means burning. Ewer means wide mouthed jack. This is the picture of ewer. Deluged means drenched. The hiss of the quenched element. The quenched element is the fire. The breakage of pitcher when she flung it after emptied it. And the splash of water she had liberally bestowed. That means generously she splashed on the face of Mr. Rochester, roused him up. 
In the dark, she knew he had woken by the curses given to Jane by Mr. Rochester. He asked, is there a flood? Jane said, no sir, but there has been a fire. She also requested him to get up and she will fetch him a candle. He asked, is that Jane here? What have you done with me? Have you plotted? Plotted means planned to drown me. These are the questions asked by him. So the new words meanings are given. Queen's element here means fire. Picture means it's a kind of jug. This is the picture of picture. And liberally bestowed means generously. Fulminating strange anatomist means cursing widely. Fetch means bring. Plotter means plant. Jane was not ready to answer those questions and requested him to get up and she will bring him a candle. She too told him somebody has plotted something. Then he woke up and said her to wait for two minutes to search for a dry garment because Jane has flooded the whole room. Luckily he got a dry dressing gown. Then he told Jane to run and get a candle. Jane went to take the candle from the gallery at, and at that time he changed his dress. He took the candle from Jane and survived. Survived means checked the bed. All were blackened and scorched. Scorched means burned. The sheet drenched and the carpet was swimming in water. So the new words meanings are given. At your peril means at your risk. Garments means dress. Survived means checked. Scorched means burned. What is it and who did it? Mr. Rochester asked. Jane briefly explained him what had transpired. Transpired means happened. He listened it very seriously. Jane noticed the expression of Mr. Rochester. He was more concerned than astonishment. He did not speak immediately after Jane has explained him everything. So the new words meanings are given. Transpired means happened. Gravely means seriously. Astonishment means surprised. So this is the end of the story and I hope it was very interesting. Thank you.